Be very quiet, there's a rare species over there. I haven't seen one in ages. It's very rare. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to capture it, okay? All right? What do you think? Should we should we try to capture it? Yeah? Okay, you ready? Ready? Oh, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three, go, go! Hello and welcome to my first impressions video of my new purchase, this uh, 2010 Suzuki GSX-R750 in a purple, silvery, goldy, pearl, something, bronzy thing. So I bought this bike towards the end of November. It's been a few months of ownership and I have ridden it in quite a few places now. So I'm ready to share my first few thoughts about this magical, mythical being. So as you know, this particular class of motorcycle is currently in the process of being eliminated because of course you've got 600cc motorcycles for racing classes and then the next step up typically is your leader bikes and this is 750cc, so well or thereabouts. Being 750cc it can't race with the 600s and it's not quite a leader bike. So Suzuki have continued selling them and you can still buy them brand new but they are a dying commodity. There's not really too many super sports that kind of fit in the same category as this. There's a MV Augusta, which is a little bit in the same boat as this bike, but uh, apart from that, this doesn't really have any other competition. It kind of competes with both the Lita bikes and the 600s um, being in between those two. Why did I buy this bike? I don't really know. <laughs> well, my other two bikes, which is the Versys X300 and the Harley Davidson Roadstar 1200 that I have. Those two bikes are amazing bikes, but they don't do what this bike does. This is the epitome of a canyon carving machine. We are, we are super, super lucky to have the great dividing range in our backyard, and we have a whole bunch of twisty mountain passes um, not far from here. Within 25 minutes, I can be pretty much there. Um, and uh, there's a choice of many, many different runs. So this bike here, apart from Obviously taking it on a track, which is what it was designed to do, uh, it doesn't really serve any other purpose really, apart from taking it into the Twister Mountain Roads. A little bit of history to maybe help explain why I bought this. So I've owned a whole bunch of Blackbirds in the past, a CBR 1100XX Blackbirds, and absolutely love those bikes. Super Tourer, sports oriented Super Tourer. Um, and uh, I loved those, but they were absolutely manic bikes, like just insane. So I've moved on from them a little bit and they're starting to age a little bit for what I'm, I'm trying to do with my riding. For a little tiny while, I owned a CBR 600 RR. And this bike is pretty similar to that. So it's, I would say it's almost as aggressive in a seating position as the Honda, but not quite, okay? It's a little bit better. I'll speak about that in a minute. Apart from the Blackbirds, the other motorcycles that I've really owned have been the Ducati Monster. I've had four of those um, and they are a completely different street riding um, bike. So I've purely bought this bike to ride in the twisties. So the idea behind it is the Harley is more of a street cruiser sort of boulevard bike. The Versys is an off semi off-road touring bike. Um, so there's, I've, I'm sort of got, I have a little gap in between where I don't have a bike to ride in the mountains, which is one of the main reasons why I ride motorbikes, for the fun of the twisty roads in my backyard over here. All right, so a couple of things about this Jixxer. All right, so the first thing I'll speak about is, this, is the power delivery of this bike. It is absolutely beautiful. The way that it delivers the power is just like any super sport, it's, uh, it does need a little bit of revs, but once it gets revs, it's very, very good. You, you can definitely tell a difference from the 600 to the 750. There's a little bit more torque down low and the power kicks in a little bit lower uh, in the rev range. And I think 
that it's just it hits a sweet spot. All right, so riding a thousand, you got you, I kind of feel like you're getting a similar torque down low, but the thousand, of course, picks up a lot faster and it goes a lot further in terms of how you know how it delivers its power. But this is beautiful. Okay, the riding position is amazing. Riding in a twist is you do need that super sport position and that's leaning forward. And like I said before, there are some really aggressive bikes that you know you really do lean forward quite a lot. This to me is a is a great compromise between being uncomfortable leaning and being in a super sport position. So um, it's 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 comfy enough, but you know that you're riding a super sport. Another thing I noticed straight away as soon as I got on this bike is that the seat you're kind of sitting in the bike more than a lot of other bikes. So the ZX6R, ZX636, the CBR600, you feel like you're sitting on top of the bike more. Whereas on this bike, when you're sitting, you, you feel like you're in the bike a little bit more than those bikes. The center of gravity is really low, and you do feel that when you're riding um, as you're flicking it back and forth and just how planted it feels. It's really very well designed and as it should be, they've been, they've been doing these bikes for such a long time and um, by 2010 it was definitely sorted. Styling, well, what can I say? Classic Jixxer, integrated taillights, lights in the mirrors, classic Jixxer design. You can't miss them, hey? A Jixxer is a Jixxer. This one has a beautiful pearlescent uh, finish to it and I'm really, uh, I wasn't a huge fan when I first picked it up, but as I've gotten used to the bike, I do really love this pearlescent finish that uh, is, it's like, it's like a bronzy pearl, like it's got little flicks of bronzy pearl stuff in it, and it's a little bit better than just having plain black, I think, I think, yeah, I don't know, I, yeah, a little bit better. The dash is virtually identical to the GSX 650F that I've previously owned, just prior to this bike. And I've mentioned about that bike, as I've said about the GSX, this dash is, it's neat, it's uh, very functional, it's got a gear indicator, it's nice and clean. The design is very minimalistic, but you get a gear indicator, you get a, a clock, you get um, a fuel light, you get a shift indicator. There's all the bits and pieces that you need on the dash and nothing else. Okay, so a, a couple of little tidbits, I suppose. I'm not a real big fan of this here. I've got a replacement coming already. So this is all gonna get swapped out to a nice black piece over here because this looks a bit cheesy for me. We came with the bike. I have not used the engine modes because why would you? Some of you with a keen eye might have already noticed that I have removed the uh, catalytic converter on this bike and it sounds amazing but it is very, very loud. I think maybe I've made a little bit of a mistake and it's a little bit too loud. So yeah, it's, it's uh, super loud. <laughs> and I, every time, okay, since I've taken the cat off, <laughs> Every single time I roll off throttle, it's just popping and shooting flames and yeah, I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I might buy a baffle to put into that exhaust because it's a little bit loud. Um, apart from that, I just took off the uh, tank protector and I put on a new one. Um, I think it looks good, it's a little bit compact. It just kind of blends in with the bike. And apart from that, that's it. What this will need is a retire. So at the back is a Michelin Road 4 GT. It's a little bit conservative for sports riding, but um, suits me fine. But I feel like I will be swapping that out fairly soon. Okay, so on the front, you have a very popular tire, which is the Michelin Road 5. So that, that tire is brand new, came with the Roadworthy. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna match that at the back, but we'll see. Okay, so the other thing that I'm going to do very quickly is I'm gonna swap out this um, windscreen over here. It's a little bit scratched. No, not scratched, but it's got like some swirly marks through it. So I'm going to replace that. I'm going to go back to the original clear. It's in the mail. Hopefully it's coming soon. So I will mention the main thing that I don't like, and that is that this does not have any safety electronics or technology as such. So there is no, apart from the engine modes, which, you know, whatever, there's no ABS, no traction control, nothing. It's just a track bike. Mm. So having, having no ABS is 
yeah, I don't know. I, it's just a little bit of an insurance policy, I think, and not having it, uh, yeah, I, I, I would kind of like to have ABS. The other thing is uh, just a wear and tear item at the moment, and that is it has a rusty chain. So the last um, owners of the bike kept it outside pretty much all its life, and the one section of the chain, which would have been sitting at the bottom for a while, of the um, as it's going around, it would have been sitting at the bottom. It is rusty. So it's, uh, I've lubed it up, it looks okay. Um, the O-rings kind of still look okay. There's nothing really wrong with those, but the chain itself is rusty. So I'm going to have to swap that out pretty soon. Okay, well, thank you for watching all the way to the end. My first impressions, absolutely have fallen in love with this thing. Amazing bike through the mountains. I'm looking forward to making more videos about this bike and living with a Gixxer 750. If you haven't already, could I please ask that you subscribe? Little button down the bottom. I uh, would really appreciate your support and helping the channel out. Apart from that, see you at the next video. Bye.